Welcome back, everybody. There's a new device that's changing the way that prostate cancer is being treated. It uses targeted heat waves to get rid of cancerous cells without damaging other tissue. Dr. Matthew Hassan is here to tell us more about it. This is one of those things you hear about and then you go, wow, this is already being used. Yeah, it's a really great new therapy. We have a lot of great prostate cancer therapies already. Mm -hmm. uh, robotic surgery uh, is a minimally invasive form of surgery. Uh, there are forms of radiation therapy, seed implants, right. uh, brachytherapy, uh, CyberKnife, protonmine therapy, and this is just adds this high food therapy adds to the breadth and depth of what we can offer patients. Let's go back a minute and talk about uh, how prostate cancer is being diagnosed and, and what are some of the symptoms? What are what should people be thinking about? Yeah, that's a great question. People need to know the prostate sits in a man at the base of the bladder, mm -hmm. and so men have to urinate through the prostate to get the urine out. And typically, prostate symptoms. Uh, have to do with blockage of the urinary channel. Now, the vast majority of time, those are all benign causes, not malignant. So it's important to note that prostate cancer generally doesn't have a lot of symptoms unless it's already spread to other parts of your body. So most of the time, we end up diagnosing prostate cancer based on a blood test called PSA, okay. which a lot of people know something yeah, about. Yeah, I was going to say, you know, talking to my dad and his PSA levels, everybody's always talking about that. So when someone is diagnosed, let's talk about the high food therapy because this is rather new and mm -hmm. it's now being used non-surgical? Yes, yeah, so it was FDA approved in the United States about three years ago and it's a non-surgical or non-invasive way. There's no incisions, no blood loss, no cutting, uh, no ionizing radiation necessary and it basically uses heat therapy delivered by an ultrasound machine very precisely to target the prostate itself and sparing the, the tissue that doesn't need to be treated. Wow, that's incredible because when I think about radiation or when you think about chemotherapy, those two types of things, you always think about the negative connotations, the things that happen outside of treating the cancer. Absolutely. And this, is, this is much more targeted. Um, we were talking about this earlier too, the rising number of younger people that are now being diagnosed with this. Why do you think that is? Do you think that people are just taking better care of themselves and so they're catching it earlier? Or is there another reason that we're seeing younger men being diagnosed? Well, there's no question we think of prostate cancer as traditionally being an older man's disease. Right. And there, the, the data bears out the older you get, the more likely your risk of prostate cancer goes up. But uh, we try to find it in younger guys because prostate cancer is slow growing. Okay. And so the older guys sometimes, an 80-year-old, may die with it rather than from it, but the younger guys are the guys who really are targeting with screening. Okay, make sure you get yourself screened to learn more about this new technology. You can go to urologynashville.com. Thank you so much for coming in and talking to us.